Hi guys, long time no see. I'm so sorry. I um, kind of skipped out on videos last week, if anybody noticed. I don't know if anybody did. And I felt really bad because my intro always says subscribe for new videos every Monday and Thursday, but I have an excuse and it's a pretty good one. If you guys didn't know, the week before last I went to Disneyland. Um, we left on Thursday and came back Sunday. And while we were there, my boyfriend Sam proposed to me. And it's been so crazy and so exciting and so nerve-wracking and so many emotions rolled into one. So um, I just kind of took that last week off to kind of settle into normal life and kind of get back into the swing of things. Um, it really was just kind of like we were in a dreamland the entire time, ever since it happened while we were on vacation at Disneyland. So um, when you kind of like get thrown back into the reality after a weekend like that, that's like changed your life, it's really difficult. So um, I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you don't mind that I kind of took a couple days off. But I am back and I am ready to film and get back on the swing of things and back, get back on my um, normal routine of Mondays and Thursdays. So. I will be back with that, um, but yeah, I am so beyond excited and ecstatic, and it's really hard for me to express this on camera, because um, it's like I'm talking to myself still, I'm still not like settled in. So Sam and I have been together for a year and eight months, and we've actually known each other for about two years or a little bit over, um, and I knew he was going to propose to me, and I just didn't know when or where. We've always talked about getting married and our life and everything like that, so it's always been something that's like, you know, it's going to happen, but I didn't know when he was planning on doing it, and of course I had my fingers crossed um, the entire time since we started talking about it that he would ask me soon. Um, so it really was just kind of an up in the air thing. I didn't know it was happening. So what he did is we had gone with my family, and... Um, we got there on Thursday, and Thursday we kind of spent with my family, um, you know, staying together, doing smaller rides. We kind of stuck together since that was like our first day in the park. And then um, Friday, I had kind of put aside for Sam and I to have the day and the night together, not knowing like what was going to happen. Um, and I think he kind of took full advantage of that. So we had dinner reservations over at California Adventure because we were going to see this um, light show, World of Color. And the show wasn't until like 10 o'clock. So we had like three hours to kill between our dinner reservation and the actual show, and we didn't want to spend it all in California Adventures, so we went back over to Disneyland. And they have all the Christmas decorations up, like the tree at the beginning of Main Street, and then there's the castle on the other side of Main Street, or at the very end. And we were walking, and um, Sam said, oh, we should get some pictures together. And I said, okay. So, um... He said, well, do you want to get a picture, like, in front of the tree, or do you want one in front of the castle? And I thought, uh, I don't know, you know, I'm just like, whatever. So I said, let's just go in front of the castle and be classic. So we went over there, and then they, we kind of went off to the side of it because the front of it was blocked off. I think they were going to do some filming and stuff because it's, like, the beginning of the Christmas decorations at Disneyland, so they've got to film all their promotional stuff. So we kind of went off to the side of it, and um, we still had the castle as our backdrop, and then I kind of scouted out a place along the rail to find a good spot for us to get a picture together, and then he went, and there was a um, girl, an employee of Disneyland, kind of standing there in that same area, because I think there was a lot of people asking to get pictures in that spot. So Sam went over and got her, and then... He came back with her, and he's like, oh, just give her your camera. So I gave her my phone, and I had the camera set up, and I handed it to her. And um, right as I did that, he grabbed both my hands, and he proposed. So it was probably one of the most nerve-wracking moments of my life. Um, it was so exciting and so shocking and um, just really surreal. I didn't really even feel like I was there. And I think after he asked me, we were walking off, and I was like, is this real life? It just didn't feel real. It felt like it didn't even happen, like a dream or something. And I was just so happy that he asked me there because Disneyland holds a really special place in my heart. I've gone there since I was a little girl and I just have so many fond memories there and um, I'm a total Disney nerd if you guys did not know that about me. So um, I think it was the perfect place for him to ask and it just made it all the more romantic because when he asked me there were um, people surrounded so uh, I was 
in such a shock, I didn't really look, but all I could hear, you know, while he was asking me and down on one knee, there were people, and they're like, oh my gosh, oh, look at that, look at that, he's proposing to her, so um, it just made it all the better for me. I absolutely ate that up. <laughs> so right now, we don't have an exact date set. We know that we don't want to wait very long or have a super long engagement because we want to, you know, kind of get the ball rolling with our lives together and all that good, fun, married stuff. So, um, originally we were shooting for November of next year, but now we might be trying to move it up to October. We're not really sure. It just kind of depends on availability because, um, it is wedding season full force where we live in October and November, which is real weird because I know a lot of places it's like the summer months, but not for us, it's like the fall because that's when the weather gets really nice. It feels actually like spring outside opposed to fall. I'm definitely feeling the pressure because a lot of the venues that I've called and requested a specific date, they say, oh, you know, we're already booked up for that. So um, I know I definitely have to get the ball rolling on that. I am kind of up in the air about making some um, videos about my experience planning the wedding. Um, I, I guess I'd call it like a series. Um, I know it's not really beauty related and I know some people might not want to see that stuff because they watch my channel just for the beauty stuff so that's totally understandable. Um, I kind of wanted to get you guys' input. It's something that I'm going to film anyway because um, Sam's family actually don't live in the same state as us. They live across the country so um, I wanted to make sure to include Sam's mom and sister as much as possible. Um, and all of the decision making and you know I want them to be included so um, I will be filming this stuff anyway so if you guys want to see a wedding series on here let me know if not I do have a vlog channel set up but I haven't put anything on there yet so I'm thinking about possibly putting those videos over there I'm just not sure yet so I'd really like you guys' feedback on that I also was thinking about making some videos about the different emotions you're going to go through throughout your engagement. Um, I know a lot of girls just kind of focus on, you know, when they make videos, they want to make them about the whole wedding planning process, but um, personally, I've experienced quite a few emotions already just being engaged for a week, and I think it might be really great to share that with some of you guys. I don't know, maybe some of you out there are engaged, or you're getting close to being engaged, or you're just curious, you want to know what it's going to be like, um, and I'd love to share that with you guys too. Yet, that's another thing that I feel it might fit better on a vlog channel, so just give me your input on that and let me know where you think it should belong. I don't want to be blowing up you guys' subscription boxes with wedding videos if it's not something that you're going to be interested in, but um, I know for me, like I'm always interested in the girls that I watch, um, the ones that have gotten engaged, I'm like all about their wedding videos. I'm super nosy and I want to know. So let me know, give me some feedback, and we will go from there. And I know part of any engagement, you guys are probably going to ask me to see my ring. So uh, here it is. I am absolutely in love with it. It's completely me. I love the simplicity of it, but it's still got a little bit of a, I don't know, pizzazz to it. I just think he did a wonderful job. I couldn't be happier with it and more excited and every day I'm like looking down at it. So that's everything guys. Thank you so much for all of your support and continuing to subscribe and comment and thumbs up and everything that you do. It really means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for sticking by me for this past week while I kind of took a short um, engagement hiatus but as I said I am back now and in full force and I'm ready to get back on the filming wagon so let's go <laughs> so that is everything guys thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video bye